Nearly 900,000 people have fled Ukraine during Russia's invasion. Mothers, children, even the most vulnerable, the sick, the elderly, those with disabilities who normally couldn't or wouldn't make such a long and often treacherous journey. They're doing it, though, to escape war. Promise Caldwell could have been among them, but tonight she is home safe in Boise with her family who adopted her from a Ukrainian orphanage about two years ago. And now they're watching the war unfold and feeling helpless. Here's Katya Stepovic. As thousands flee from Ukraine, among them are the most vulnerable, orphans and the disabled. But luckily for Promise Caldwell... Remember me? Huh? Do you remember me? She was adopted in Ukraine by a Boise couple over two years ago. Dive in? She likes her legs like that. Okay, there we go. Say bye to your orphanage. Promise Caldwell is 18 years old from Western Ukraine. She has Down syndrome and is nonverbal. Promise grew up living the majority of her life in a crib, not being able to walk. She was left in a hospital by her mother. Um, her mom was like 16, I think, when she had her. Yeah, we don't know much about her mother, but she was left. Um, they said probably because she has Down syndrome. And then she was put in a baby orphanage till she was five. When they're five and they have Down syndrome, they pretty much won't be adopted, so they are transferred to institution. We, we had both been to Romania in the past, and we kind of knew some of the situations, you know, that some of the kids experience just, and um, it's, just, it's just tough because there's not as much assistance, a lot of, not as much help. And so they chose Promise to help. There's something about her. She says, you're a beautiful girl. <laughs> 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 While Promise is safe and surrounded by love, her parents, Luke and Miranda Caldwell, can't help but think about all the other orphans currently living in chaos, the ones that they couldn't bring home. It's easy to see a picture and not, like, have anything <clears throat> behind that, but once you meet the kids and see that they're real and know that we're here and we're safe and they're not, it makes it really hard to just go on living here with all that we have. Moms and kids are, you know, fleeing the country right now, and most of the caregivers are women that are taking care of people like Promise and, you know, hundreds, thousands. Um, we've heard there's nearly 100,000 or more orphans in Ukraine. And so to think, like, what, what happens if the caregivers need to, need to go take care of their families and they have to leave? Like, what happens to these kids? Before Russia's invasion, a man named Serge from America who had dual citizenship in Ukraine was helping find orphans a safe home. He had a certain type of respect there that not a lot of people have. And <coughs> he, he's like the key to some of those kids getting out of there. He helped get promise to her forever home. But the Caldwells say just a few days ago. I was just like, this can't be real. This can't be happening. They learned that Serge died fighting for his country. Like literally in the streets yeah. of Kyiv. As the Caldwells continue to mourn his loss, they're also keeping their eyes on the escalating tensions there, a place they know well after taking a number of trips there throughout the adoption process. They say despite the bloodshed, they believe Ukrainians will come out of this stronger. They never seem <laughs> fearful, but I know that it was always in the forefront of their mind that it could happen again. You could tell there was a lot of resilience in the people and that they're just like, we love our country, we want our freedom, like we... <laughs> We want to be able to do what we want to do. They only hope that the rest of Ukraine's orphans can make it out of Russia's invasion and have that chance at life that Promise has. Show them how you walk. Show them how you run. Yeah, she's come a long way in two and a half years. And there are ways that people can help right here in Idaho. The Caldwells are working with an organization called Maya's Hope. They support children and orphans with special needs in Ukraine and have been doing so for over 10 years. And they say they need the resources and the care right now more than ever before. We'll have a link to where people can donate to that on KTBB.com. They have an emergency fund going on right now. Brian. It's a side of war that doesn't get a lot of attention. I'm glad you were able to do that today. Thank you, Katya.